Okay, we are going to write cosine of 3x in terms of cosine x. So let's go ahead, break down the 3x as 2x plus x. So let me write this down right here. This is the same as cosine of 2x plus x. And once we have this form, we can go ahead and use the angle sum formula for the cosine, right? Which it says it will be the same as cosine of the first angle, which is the 2x, times cosine of the second, which is this x. And then it will be a minus in between, even though this is the angle sum formula, but for cosine situation, it's a minus in between, right? Minus sine of the first, which is the 2x, and then we multiply this by sine of the second, which is this x right here, just like that. And remember the direction. We want to write everything in terms of cosine x. That means I have to fix this, this, and that. Well, if you look at the first term right here, we have the cosine of 2x, right? And this is just a double angle situation for the cosine. And the identity that we can use in this case is that I can write this as 2 cosine square x minus 1. And the reason I'm using this version of the identity is because I want everything to be in terms of cosine x, okay? Don't forget to still put on parentheses, and then we still have to multiply this by cosine x right here. And then we have the minus, and then we notice that here we have the sine of 2x, which is the double angle formula for the sine, right? Which we can write this down as 2 sine x times cosine x. And then we still have the sine x right here. So this is nice. And now let's do the usual business. Let's go ahead and take this, multiply by that, then we will get 2, and then cosine square x times cosine x, we get cosine to the third power x. And then we take this times that, which is just going to be minus cosine x, like this. And for this right here, let's put on the minus 2. And then you see, here we have sine x times sine x, so I will write this down as sine square x, and we put on the cosine at the end, like this. Okay, as you can see, this is the same as saying 2 and then cosine x and then to a third power. This is good. Cosine x is also good. And this cosine x is also good, but the sine square x is not good, right? With that being said, we have to change this. But before that, let's go ahead and write this down again. 2 cosine to the third power x and then minus cosine x and then minus 2. For sine square x, we can write it down as what? It's the same as 1 minus cosine square x, right? And then we still have the cosine x at the end, like this. Okay, we have negative 2 and then the cosine, and then we have this parentheses. Be sure we multiply everything out right here. And let me write this down right here first. This stays the same. 2 cosine to a third power x, and then minus cosine x. But check this out. We will take negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2. But then be sure you also take this multiply with the cosine as well. So it's negative 2 cosine x, right? And perhaps earlier, if you would like, you can write the cosine x in front of the parentheses so that you can look at that as negative 2 cosine x times 1, which is this. Anyway, uh, the next will be negative times negative becomes positive, and then 2 times this, right, which is we have the 2, but be sure you also take the cosine x times that. So you will be cosine to the third power x, all right? Just because we have something in front and also something in the end of the parentheses, so be sure you just multiply everything. Okay, what can we do next? Well, we see that we have 2 cosine 3 x, 2 cosine to a third power x, and then this is plus 2 cosine to a third power x, right? This is the third power, it's not 3x. Together, we will have 4 cosine to the third power x. And then we see that this is minus cosine x and then minus 2 cosine x. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. And then the cosine x stays the same. And that's what we have. So this right here will be an identity for cosine of 3x. This is the third power. This right here is 3 times x. And that's it.